Even her former husband, he duped her. Even he, no, he, no, 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 Havel, he didn't. He didn't do that. I'm at Radio 2UE in Uptown Sydney, and behind me is Stan Zamanik, the most opinionated, outspoken and abusive man in radio. Some love him, others love to hate him. Either way, he's top of the ratings, with the biggest nighttime audience in Australia. Let me tell you something, you imbecile. If your brains were made of elastic, you wouldn't have enough to go around the ankle of a bloody sparrow. The Stan Zamanik Show goes to air from 7 till midnight, five nights a week. It can be heard on the Sky Radio Network throughout Australia. 1.6 million listen each night to his trademark style of talkback. Listen, hippo breath, you are a moronic schmuck, you know that? You're also brain... Well, it's not a win. I mean, that's what idiots like you just don't understand. It's not a win. No, hang on a second, get your facts right. The government were not involved... Stan's in show is a pacey mix of entertainment and information. He's been branded a redneck and a right-wing raver. But for many of his fans, he's the mate with the heart of gold at the other end of the line. And uh, we're going to be here right through to 12 o'clock tonight. And if you'd like to be part of the crowd, part of the fun, you can give us a call. 13 13 32. By the time he's knocked off, he's received up to 120 calls. With a job like this, it's no wonder he sees his home in the northern beaches as a haven in which to relax. So this is where Stan relaxes. This is, this is the place where I come down to get away from everybody. <laughs> um, and it's just so peaceful and just so quiet. I turn the television lay down here in the lounge, become a real veg, and I'm out. Fall asleep. Now, Stan, I see you're a bit of a movie buff. Yeah, I like to uh, watch the videos, and uh, I mean, my favourite is uh, uh, Humphrey Bogart and James Cagney. If you've ever seen this, this is Yankee Doodle Dandy, and this is James Cagney at his best, I can tell you. Do you mould yourself a little bit on the James Cagneys? Uh, I suppose a little bit of James Cagney there, and Humphrey Bogart as well, and Ed Edward G. Robinson. I mean, they were the tough guys of those, those 30s and 40s. Seeing him at home, it's hard to believe this is the same guy who's officially the most oh. offensive radio man in Australia. Last year, the Australian Broadcasting Authority received more complaints about Stan Show than any other program on TV or radio. This is our lounge room and bar and... Out there is the view. It's so gorgeous. What a it beautifully, is. beautifully located spot you have here, it's a, Stan. It's a lovely view. Have a look at that. I mean, that is just magnificent. Well, how do you feel about the fact that you're the most complained about radio personality? I think it's terrific. I think it's... Uh, I wear that with a badge of honour because I think I've made people sit there and think about the issues, whether they agree or disagree. Well, how did you get like this? Well, my sister tells me that when I was young, I was obnoxious. Um, I used to, when I didn't get my own way, I'd sort of lie on the floor and sort of uh, throw a tantrum. Um, I, now, I can't believe that, but my sister swears that I was an obnoxious little, well, we won't say the word. M obnoxious little rat bag. Not a rat bag, no. It started with an A and has a <laughs> hole in it. <laughs> Stan Zamanik has never been one to sit on the fence. He's got an opinion on just about everything. You know, I hate dull bludgers. I think they're the lowest common piece of crap around town. Greenies also get the gong. They've gone too far. They didn't know when to stop. They didn't know when to say enough is enough. We don't, we don't need any more green trees. We've got enough. And so do politicians. And we're just spawning these people out there. They're going out spending all our money and achieving nothing. So do you wear your politics on your sleeve a bit? Oh yeah, I'm right of Genghis Khan. There's no argument about that. Stan doesn't beat around the bush when it comes to telling his audience what he thinks. I mean, some of these people out there, some of them are just so stupid and they say such dumb things that they deserve to be, I suppose, stuck up. What about that freedom of speech right? They're allowed well, to say their thoughts. That's say exactly thought. right, but that's fine. That's what Talkback Radio is all about. They can have their speech, as they can have their... you get the final word. Of course, <laughs> of course. But that's what they love about me. Not content with being nighttime Talkback King, Stan has his finger in many other pies. He's set up a direct marketing company selling videos, wine, coffee cups, caps, CDs and sauces. He's producer, presenter and star of the Stan Zamanik Cabaret Show. He's also the beast on Foxtel's Beauty and the Beast. You're a bloody idiot. Do you know that? Yes. The worst thing we ever did was give women the vote. Oh, Should I know. Never... It's a shocker, isn't it, It Stan? was a shocker. Absolutely. Sweetheart, as far as I'm concerned, look, uh, as far as no I'm concerned... You have and you are in no position to say what you think about chronic fire. fatigue syndrome Holy if you fire. are ignorant to She's it. She's a blonde and she can speak as well. Even in his spare 
their time, Stan isn't one to sit still. Some good breeze up here. You want to go off of that, Kurz? You'd have to be doing okay to sort of own a boat like this, wouldn't you? Uh, I guess so. I guess so, yes. So are you a competitive person by nature? I am, yeah. I like, uh, I like a good race and I like a good argument as well. And uh, out in, when you're sailing out on board of a yacht, you get both of them competitive and you also argue with the, with the crew all the way around. Do you like to be in control? Every skipper of every boat <laughs> wants to be in control. So is this just like you on the outside as well? Uh, well, I suppose so. You, you're, you're really a tough inquisitor, Felicity. <laughs> I'd been invited on what I thought was a leisurely harbour cruise aboard his latest acquisition, Morning Mist. Instead, we found ourselves in the midst of a yacht race and the pressure was on to win. All right, come on. Lose the shirt now. All right. Johnny, hold on. Well done, guys. As you can see, it's sort of pandemonium on the boat. Is your heart Johnny. racing? Uh, with a boat this size, the heart races all the time, I can tell you. For Stan, life's looking pretty good. But it's taken 25 years of hard work to reach this level of success. I'm no overnight success, although some people like to think I am. And I've certainly paid my dues. Um, but I don't take it for granted because I can tell you, my, one of my great sayings is, it's a uh, slow ride to the penthouse, but it's a quick ride to the <laughs> house. <laughs> Because 